So in this question, we have a shape which is made up of a sector of a circle, which is joined to a sector of a different circle. So first of all, highlighted in yellow, we have the sector COD, and then highlighted in green, we have the sector AOB. So they're both from different circles. We're given a few measurements, and we're going to use this to help us solve question A, which is to find the length of OD. So I'll copy the diagram out here to make things slightly easier going forward. So we first know O to D. Since O is the center of the circle, we see that OD will be equal to the radius. Then we need to think, what other information do we have? So we have the angle here, which is 0.4 radians. And then we have the arc length is equal to three centimeters. So then we can put this together and make use of the formula. S is equal to R theta. S is equal to the arc length, which equals three centimeters in our case. R is equal to the radius. That's what we want to find out. And then we also have that theta is equal to 0 0.4 radians. So therefore, what we can do now is substitute these values into our equation. And that will give us that 3 is equal to r times 0 0.4. And upon rearranging this, we have the r is equal to 3 divided by 0 0.4 which is equal to 7.5 centimeters. Therefore, OD is equal to 7.5 centimeters. In this question, where do we pick up our marks? So the question is worth two marks. So our first mark we will uh, pick up for using the equation S equals R theta, and then second, secondly, we will receive our mark for concluding with the correct answer of OD is equal to 7.5 centimetres. Now we'll move on to part B, where we're asked to find the area of the shaded sector AOB. So once again, to make things easier, we'll copy out the diagram and we'll annotate it as we go to help the question go as smoothly as possible. So first, we are, well, we've been asked to find the area of a sector. So the best thing to to start us off will be to write down the formula that we know for the area of the sector. So as you can see here, the area is equal to a half multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by theta. So now we look at our diagram and we see we're being asked to work out the area that I'm shading in in yellow here. So there's two things that stick out to me. So we know that the total length from A to D is 12 centimeters, but we know that from O to D, it's seven and a half centimeters. So we can now work out A to O by doing 12 minus seven and a half. And that is going to be equal to the radius of the circle where the sector shaded in gray comes from. So therefore, R is going to be equal to A to O, which is equal to 12 minus 7.5, which is equal to 4.5 centimeters. And we can do the same for the angle as well. So we can see here that this angle in here will be the angle that we need to uh, use as theta in our equation. And we know that the, uh, these two angles will add to 180 degrees, or in this case, pi. So we have that pi is equal to theta plus 0 0.4, which means that theta is going to be equal to pi minus 0 0.4. So therefore, this means that we have the values we need and we can substitute these into our formula. So the area is going to be equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by 4.5 squared 
and then we're going to multiply this by pi minus 0 0.4. Remember to be careful with our brackets. And then this gives us that the area is equal to 27.8 centimeters squared. And we've got to be careful and remember our units, which are centimeters squared. So now we'll take a look and see where we picked up our marks in this question. So there's three marks on offer and we will pick up our first mark for using the angle AOB being equal to pi minus 0 0.4 and then we pick up our second mark for using the formula area equals half of r squared theta and subbing our values in and then we receive our third and final mark for the correct answer.